going on guys so I just got done running some wire for my cameras and for my I, I think they're called I think they're officially called rock lights um, and you can see I have two fuse taps here I've got this one here that's for the rock lights and for the monitor here up here I'll show you how, how that that works oh yeah and it's also for this one here but that's that's not that that one there is not on the switch okay and then I've got this one here that's for my cameras front and rear and you can see this is my video cable for I don't know the front or the rear I'm not sure which um, and you can see I actually have some uh, underglow lighting here okay that's tied into the headlight circuit and if you know anything about GM you have a, an auto a switch that you can make it auto so it automatically turns on when the light level is low enough so right now I have them turned on um, just so I can do this video the other thing too is this right here this is actually a DRL that I added um, you can see I got it on both sides okay and so if I have no headlights I still have my DRL here now let's come back over here now you can see this switch is on but this switch right here is for the cameras which I don't have the cameras plugged in I've got to do some more testing um, this switch here you'll notice is the monitor and it's also the rock lights you see got that on both sides and then I've got a light in here on both sides I was gonna these lights here I was gonna use them inside the bed because you gotta got a little bit of room between the inner inner liner of the bed and the outer of the bed so that's what I was gonna do I ended up getting some uh, strips and I did a whole different setup I already did a video on it um, I guess I'll go ahead and pull the key out and show you what it looks like okay so and as you can see I gotta repaint my tailgate okay so this is my bed got flooring my level in there now this is a switch for my lights turn the lights on and during the daytime it doesn't do anything but it trust me it comes in handy at night and so there there uh there's strips right there and right there and you can see okay and what i did with these lights is i tied into the uh tied into the seven pin because I forget which which one it is but one of them is constant hot so um, and now I didn't add a fuse in for for my bed lighting that I, I that I installed I didn't put a fuse in there because they're LEDs they don't draw hardly anything same thing with uh, I've got <clears throat> you can see I've got a tailgate light bar no fuses no additional fuses because every it's it's LED uh, it's not gonna draw anything um, outrageous so um, but yeah I just got done and <clears throat> let me see if we can show how I did <clears throat> right there actually that's how I ran the wire uh, the wires I just followed everything else um haven't had an issue yet so um, I've got I've got a uh, I did that one there there and 
let me show you what I did in the front pop the hood and I don't know if you saw the video I did uh, some LED lights under my hood you can see it's all lit up now under the hood so and this this is the switch for the uh for the hood lights okay but all see that big mass of uh flex loom okay obviously my um my drls are just coming right off of here one of my fuses in here this ignition hop you can see the additional wires that i put in there um but yeah so i've got I ran these two and I've got these wires here um, so yeah that's something I did it, it really wasn't that hard you want to use flex loom you want to make it look a little bit more professional um, like I said I still gotta I still gotta find out I took my light off already this this end here goes to the uh goes inside the cab one of these plugs is my power one of them is video that's again going inside the cab this goes to this camera right here let's see goes to this camera i'm kind of worried because i mean you can see the rust right there that that, that worries me but I mean, the big part is done. The camera was, I think it was like 30 bucks. It was kind of cheap. So even if I do plug it into the wrong thing and I, I pop it, it's not it's not that big deal. Um, so, and I, I got the same thing out by, out in up at the rear where I've got, I've got this from inside the cab and I've tested, I've got power at, let's see, see? See the P on there? So this is my power. And then this, turn it over, V, video, okay? Got the same thing in the back of the truck. Um, and I got the same set up here. When you get these cameras, a lot of times they have those little RCA plugs. Um, yeah, those aren't those aren't weatherproof. They're not rated or, or anything like that. So that's what I did. This, like I said, this goes to either the front camera or the rear camera. I screwed it into an RCA adapter because that's what's coming out of the monitor. The monitor actually has two video inputs and, or I'm sorry, two video inputs and it's got uh, power. So, turn the monitor off, back on, okay, monitor. Oh, I don't I don't have the key in that's why that monitor didn't turn on I don't have the key in but let me, let me go ahead and put the key in but yeah and then so I, I you, the monitor just turned on but then it turned off because there's no video input so um, yeah that's a uh, real real quick that really wasn't too terribly hard if i'm gonna be doing some more stuff here uh, i want to i want to replace these out that's why i haven't put that that little trim piece in but uh that's that's what i got so far um i will be painting my tailgate that's my alarm system beefing i will be painting my tailgate because you can see it's flaking um, and yeah it used to be a fleet truck but you know whatever so anyways that's kind of what I got at this point just wanted to make a quick little video and show you show you what I did and and uh, I don't know maybe give you some ideas of some stuff that you can do um, if you have a truck like this or if you know someone who's got a truck like this you can uh maybe 
pass along the information um, otherwise uh, if you're interested to see my next video which I can't even tell you what it is I know I'm gonna be doing the tailgate soon um, go ahead and click that subscribe uh, and again if, uh, if if this is gonna help you or if if it's gonna help someone you know uh, then go ahead and give me a thumbs up share the video and I don't know if I explained, but I drilled a hole like right here into the floorboard. I popped up through, I had four, four of the quarter inch, because I had, I had one for the lights, both lights was one, one, and then I had one for here. So I had two, two in the rear, two up front, and what I did is, I came up here and then I put a piece of half inch flex looming on it and that's where that's what that is you can you can barely see that right there and of course I've got all my grounds and everything unfortunately I kind of boogered up I don't know if you can see it but the monitor is actually grounded somewhere in here because I didn't I cut the cable too short but what do you do, right? Anyways, until my next video, I will talk to you later. All right, thanks. Goodbye.